suing the Biden administration over the way that colleges are funded. Governor DeSantis insists the way that federal money is doled out is unconstitutional because of how college accreditors are operating. In fact, the governor made the announcement today at HCC in Hills, uh, Hebor City, rather. And Fox 13's Evan Axelbank reports on the lawsuit and the response from those currently in charge of academic standards. Dylan A. Rios. A college degree is worth more than the paper it's printed on, not only because a graduate worked hard, but because their school has been deemed to meet educational standards. We are undoubtedly overprepared and bound for success. Like most universities in the South, USF, FSU, and UF all have accreditation from the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, without which a college can't have access to federal funding. The governor says tying funding to accreditation should be unconstitutional and announced a lawsuit today at HCC in Ybor City. Where we're expected to go to this one accreditor, and this is an accreditor that has an agenda. And why should that agenda be our agenda? The governor may still be smarting from the SACS's inquiry into whether UF violated the academic freedom of several of its professors by briefly barring them from testifying as experts against the state in a voting rights case. And they balked at the inclusion of then-Education Secretary Richard Corcoran in FSU's presidential search. The state's lawsuit argues that hinging federal funding on accreditation from what it calls a private trade group violates Congress's power of the purse. Nobody elected them. They're just kind of existing, you know, out there in the ether, and we're supposed to genuflect without any accountability. The SACS says on its website it employs an accountable and transparent peer review process, which assures educational quality and integrity. They didn't want to comment on this suit. They now face a new Florida law that requires colleges to rotate accrediting agencies. What we need is a competitive market in accreditation. You know, it's one thing if there were accreditors out there and you could freely choose where you wanted to go. The suit demands that Florida be freed from the requirement to tie funding to accreditation. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. The Department of Education has not yet responded to our request for comment.